The news comes first on Channel 3. Now, you've heard that statement many times. Well, very shortly, the news will not only still be first, but many segments will be in color. Now, how would the news look in color? Well, watch. This is the sound of news. From this tower, 1,549 feet in the air, Channel 3 spans the length and breadth of Northern California to bring you the fastest, most complete news coverage in this area. Hello, I'm Mike Boyd, welcoming you to the news portion of KCRA's Colorama. Has television news always seemed to be the quiet corner in your TV viewing? Well, not anymore. The 25-man crack news team at KCRA truly lives up to its motto, the news comes first on TV3. Channel 3 takes you out of your home and places you where the action is actually happening. It's been said that a picture is worth a thousand words, and certainly the visual element is a vital part of any news story. But a picture can only set the scene of action. It cannot analyze, define, nor clarify. News in depth requires more than just the visual concept. A concise word picture must be accurately displayed as well. With such a large, diversified team of newscasters and commentators, plus the award-winning news of the NBC television network, headed by David Brinkley and Chet Huntley, it's really no wonder the news comes first on TV3. But there's more to news coverage than simply the news of the day. For news is a continuing story. News events play upon one another in an evolutionary pattern which tends to set the trends and patterns of history. On a worldwide and national level, these events will be explored through the NBC White Paper series, Project 20, and the Huntley Brinkley Report, in addition to news specials when and where they happen. Regionally, however, KCRA television will be on hand to try to investigate some of the continuing stories, problems, and possible solutions. Those events, which are so easily overlooked, yet so important to Northern California's continued growth and advancement. For a report on some of the areas that we'll be making in the news in the weeks to come, here's KCRA newsman Don Oliver. In a matter of days, Valley residents with the rest of the nation will vote in the general election. We will cover that event, its results, and their significance, just as we have provided a balanced portrayal of the campaign that is now drawing to a close. The visits of Lyndon Baines Johnson and Barry Morris Goldwater were given the full treatment by KCRA News as were the day-to-day -day pronouncements, charges, and countercharges of candidates prominent only on the local level, sometimes wild, but always rewarding. Politics and politicians are a daily diet for Sacramentans, and they have been since the city became the state capital in 1854. KCRA newsmen are well known in the Capitol halls and know well the importance of legislative affairs which affect every one of us. But the vision of KCRA News is not obstructed by the city of Sacramento. It takes in the accomplishments, undertakings, and problems of the whole valley, the East Bay, and Sierra. The strain of urban growth detracting from the beauty of Lake Tahoe is only one of many regional topics under constant discussion. That there is confidence in the future growth of Sacramento Valley commerce is typified by the vision of community leaders who fought so long for the port of Sacramento. Its worth still remains to be proven, but its growth is of major concern to those who look towards Sacramento's future. One of the most heated debates of recent years has come over Sacramento's airport facilities. One faction contends that municipal airport is sufficient, but nonetheless, a $14 million jet age airport is going up in the Natomas area, backed by those who foresee expanded needs. Sacramento's requirements in all fields must be met by its youth. Some 22,000 students are now in area colleges, and education has a story to tell of progress, buildings, and new methods. The conversion of American River and City Colleges to the Los Rios District is just one of the continuing events. We here at Channel 3 News are quite excited over the increased amount of time and talent being imparted into our news department and we're looking forward to meeting the challenge of presenting you, our viewers, with the widest range, most comprehensive coverage ever attempted on this local level. We'll strive to give the fully enlightened citizen of Northern California an even greater insight into the goings on in the world around him. Until then, this is Mike Boyd for KCRA News.
You know, KCRA TV was first with videotape and also first with color in the Sacramento Valley. And they have now completed arrangements to score another dramatic first. In the near future, Channel 3 will be able to provide live color telecast to Northern California. Yes, we are receiving two color cameras for our studio. Now, color set owners in the past have been able to receive only filmed programs, and the programs both live and film originating in color from the network. Well, the new dimension of live color exclusively at Channel 3 will add many additional hours of local live color to the 40 hours already scheduled by KCRA and, of course, the many local movies which appear often in color. Now, supplementing Channel 3's live color cameras will be three additional videotape machines with color capability, which will enable you to view delayed color events as well as live specials. New modern color film equipment will be added, and when operated in conjunction with the live color cameras and KCRA's existing color equipment, clearer, sharper color film pictures will be transmitted to our viewing audience. Plans are also being made to procure additional remote television facilities, enabling Channel 3 viewers to witness events and sporting contests in the area without leaving their sets. Yes, Channel 3 continues its impressive string of firsts. First with videotape, first with color, and now first again with live color. We certainly hope you enjoyed this evening's program. Good night.